Every three minutes, one person dies from traumatic injury. 5.8 million people die each year as a result of injuries. This is 32% more than deaths caused by malaria, HIV AIDS, and tuberculosis combined, according to the World Health Organization. Many of these people are victims of road crashes. And because they are so severely injured, many of them die due to poor care within the first hour after they are wounded. But we can all do something about it. Trauma Care International Foundation was established on the 5th of January 2012 as a registered non-governmental organization with the vision to improve the state of trauma care and emergency response services in Nigeria and its other member nations through health education, advocacy, and community-based programs. With trauma becoming increasingly a global public health problem and studies reporting that over 4 million people were at risk of injury and that as many as 200,000 potential deaths may occur due to road traffic crashes in Nigeria, we recognized a heightened need for improved knowledge of a pre-hospital emergency response, appropriate access to care for trauma victims, increased acceptance of voluntary blood donation, improved casualty management and evacuation among first responders and capacity building for healthcare professionals. I remember in the year 2000, I want to just tell you a, a life scenario, what really happened then. I was on patrol as a young officer then, and a truck, a truck beat uh, my patrol team, and just not quite five minutes thereafter, a light eyes vehicle, a bus, about 14 passenger bus, did exactly the same, beat the patrol point. Not quite 10 minutes thereafter, my patrol team was called upon to uh, rescue some victims. To our greatest to our dismay, to our dismay then, we discovered that it was the truck, the tanker rather, that beat the patrol team then. Both of them met at the cliff of a hill and it resulted to a crash. Uh, we, two people were flown out of the bus, the rest got bombed. This is where you discover that Nigerians are willing to help at all times as a crash. But doing the right thing at the crash scene is another thing. The training today, um, conducted by Trauma Care International Foundation, is a collaboration that is a collaboration that spares good for FRSC. The more people know about first aid, the better. You cannot tell who will be the first person at a, at a crash scene. If everybody has the correct knowledge of what to do at a crash scene, more souls will be saved. M many souls were lost as a result of malhandling of uh, cases on the crash scene. And this goes to say that if more training can be organized for the general public, to churches, mosques, even to uh, schools, secondary schools, higher institutions. By so doing, we are recruiting more people as first aiders. And wherever they come across a scene of a crash, they know what to do and they'll be able to prevent more lives. And by so doing, deaths will be reduced. TCIF has been involved in delivery of basic emergency response training to government-appointed first responder agencies, including the Federal Road Safety Commission, Nigeria Police Force, Lagos State Traffic Management Agency, Vehicle Inspection Service, and members of the Armed Forces, and these trainings contributed to TCIF winning the 9JA Safe Merit Award in 2016. Today, I, uh, I got a better view of how many centimeters I, I had to dig in with my, the heel of my palm to get the CPR done correctly. Thus, these key issues form the basis of TCIF's programs and initiatives. Since inception, over 4,000 child safety awareness campaigns have been organized in schools and summer camps, and also regional health and safety fairs have been organized in partnership with relevant government agencies. My name is Okocha Emanuel, I'm from Hesha Community Senior High School. Today I'm so excited because we're trained by Trauma Care International Foundation. 
They taught us how to restore an unconscious person to a conscious state. So I want to say a big thank you to Trauma Care International Foundation for teaching us how to rescue an unconscious person so I can go out there and teach my friends, my peers, my families, my siblings and others. A big thank you to Trauma Care Foundation once again. In addition to increasing regional awareness on the benefits of voluntary blood donation and increasing the pool of safe, unpaid voluntary blood donors, TCIF has mobilized thousands of voluntary blood donors to give blood routinely through hundreds of her voluntary blood donation exercises. And as a result of this campaign, TCIF set the Guinness World Record for voluntary blood donation on the 30th of June, 2018 for the most people to sign up to donate blood in eight hours, multiple venues, with 3,410 voluntary blood donors recruited across various centers. My name is Irene Azu, and I just donated blood at the TCIF ongoing blood donation exercise. And I'm so excited. Uh, I believe that uh, what I've done today is going to go a long way to save at least three lives. And I would like to encourage anybody out there that is contemplating whether to donate blood or not to, you know, you know, go out there and donate blood. And I, I believe it will go a long way to at least save one or two lives. Thank you so much. In line with the Sustainable Development Goals 3, 4, 11, and 17, and the achievement of universal health coverage, TCIF has organized over 1,000 free medical outreaches, impacting hundreds of thousands of people in underserved communities, within temporary camps and shelters for internally displaced persons and refugees addressing childhood malnutrition, anemia, infectious diseases, malaria, and chronic non-communicable diseases. The execution of these community-based health projects all contributed to TCIF attaining special consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council since 2019. Through the TCIF's hospital support program, medical facilities have been constructed and in others, much needed medical equipment have been provided to enhance the quality of health services delivered to host communities. My name is Margaret Kaliwa. I am from Mararaba here. We are very grateful. I am even more than grateful because my house is just nearby here. Today, I come with my five grandchildren and get free medicine out of no even paying Naira or Ten Kobo. So we are grateful. Thank you so much, Kia, for this big project. For more information on TCIF's work, visit www.traumacareinternational.org or call these numbers now showing on your screen. Trauma Care International Foundation. Every life counts.